Now y'all know. Now y'all know. It even says in Old Testament. The Most High stated. All souls are mine. And remember. It's appointed. For man wants to die. Then the judgment. Right here. See, let's go. First of all, it adores the glory of the Most High. So when that spirit leaves, when all spirits and souls leave the body, that spirit adorns the light of the Most High. That's the first thing we all see. We are we are going to see the spirit of the Most. We're going to see the Most High in His. In his glory. So we're going to experience that. So this is what's being described right now, y'all. Okay. That's for all of us. Anybody that has, has that was here before us. Anybody that's leaving now. Anybody in the future to go. We all going to experience this. Okay. And if it is one of those. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Let me. Uh. And if it is one of those who have shown scorn and have not kept the ways of the Most High and who have despised his law, his commandments, and who have hated those who fear God, like the persecution of the Israelites, the ones who love Christ, the persecution of the Gentiles, the ones who love Christ, the persecution of the Christian body right now on the earth, the ones who love Christ, this going to be them. See? The Most High is a righteous judge. He judges the righteous and the unrighteous. These folks that's persecuting Christians, they ain't getting away with nothing. The ones who persecute the saints, they not getting away with nothing, y'all. There is justice Judgment and repercussions on them day and night in the here and now. And if they continue to persist in a wickedness, it'll be in the afterlife. This will be their end. Keep glorifying, thanking the most high, y'all. Keep speaking it. Even in the book of Thessalonians states that it's a righteous thing for the most high to avenge those who afflict us. Remember, the Most High will avenge. He will repay. We just keep doing what Christ told us to do. See, that's all we got to do. I know it's easier said than done, but what other options do we have, y'all? We got to do it. You know, got to do it, y'all. Let's continue. And who have despised his law and who have hated those who fear God. Such spirits shall not enter into habitations, but shall immediately wander about in torments. Ever grieving and sad in seven ways. Check this out, y'all. Here we go. The first way. The first way. Because they have scorned the law of the Most High. The second way, because they have, the second way, because they cannot now make a good repentance that they may live. So at this point, it's too late. So if this is all the time that you have now to get it right, do it now. See? There are people there that are seeing this, they're experiencing this right now as we speak, as I speak to y'all right now, they're experiencing this and they're in profound heaviness, sadness, pain, they're tormented. They're looking at people on the opposite side of that great call fix that are in profound peace and quiet. Angels are singing and everything. You understand? Remember Rich, uh, remember Lazarus and the rich man? The rich man is on the side of torment. You know what I'm saying? Lazarus is, he's fine. 
He's good. He's chilling with, you know, Abraham and them. See? All right, let's go. The third way. They shall see the reward laid up for those who have trusted the covenant commandments of the Most High. The fourth way. They shall consider the torment laid up for themselves in the last days. The fifth way. They shall see how the habitations of the others are guarded by angels in profound quietness. The sixth way, they shall see how some of them will pass over into torments. The seventh way, which is worse than all the ways that have been mentioned. Because they shall utterly waste away in confusion and be consumed with shame and shall wither with fear at seeing the glory of the Most High before whom they had sinned while they were alive and before whom they are to be judged in the last times. See? So that seventh way is it. See? Once they hear, too late to repent. You understand? When that decree go out from the most high, it don't come back void. See? This is them. This is those who still murdering their brother, still shooting, still killing. These are those of the other Gentile nations that's murdering the saints, murdering our people, wicked cops shooting us down, parents killing kids, kids killing their parents, see, thieves, liars, you understand, people bearing false women, people who are angry all the time, jealousy, all them is, this is them, and some of us used to be them. And we still here. How blessed are we? How blessed we are right now to have these records, to share, to, to, to give this truth out to those we love, to those who will receive. Let's go. Now, this is the order of those who have kept the ways of the Most High when they shall be separated from their mortal body. During the time that they lived in, in it, they laboriously served the Most High and withstood danger every hour that they might keep the law of the lawgiver perfectly. Therefore, this is the teaching concerning them. First of all, they shall see with great joy the glory of him who receives them. For they shall have rest in seven orders. The first order. Because they have striven with great effort to overcome the evil thought which was formed with them. That it might not lead them astray from life into death. The second order. Because they see the perplexity in which the souls of the ungodly wander. So these are the righteous looking at the unrighteous, the condemned across that great God fix. So both sides see one another. See? The third order. They see the witness of which he who formed them, the Most High, bears concerning them that while they were alive, they kept the law which was given them in trust. The fourth order, they understand the rest which they now enjoy, being gathered into their chambers and guarded by angels in profound quietness. And the glory which awaits them in the last days. The fifth order, they rejoice that they have now escaped what is corruptible and shall inherit what is to come. And besides, they see the straight and toil. 
from which they have been dis delivered, and the spacious liberty which they are to receive and enjoy immortality. This is the reward, y'all. This is what we're striving for right here. See? The sixth order. When it is shown to them how their face is to shine like the sun. And how they are to be made like the light of the stars. Being incorruptible. From then on. The seventh order, which is greater than all that have been mentioned, because they shall rejoice with boldness. Sing hallelujah to the most high, worshiping Christ, worship with the fathers, blessing the name. This is the blessing, y'all. And shall be confident without confusion, and shall be glad without fear. For they hasten to behold the face of him who they served in life. So y'all, it's clear. That's why we labor in this harvest. That's why Christ said, the harvest is plenteous or plentiful and the labors are few. So labor is what's necessary, y'all. Kingdom work now. Whatever the Most High has blessed you in your capacity, operate in it. And ask the Most High to direct your path. To be guided by the Holy Spirit in Christ. See? Let's go. Bless y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. As henceforth is announced, and the, the fourth said, are the ways of torment which those who would not give heed shall suffer hereafter. Now, y'all, what I'm going to do is, forgive me one time here. Let me just see where I'm at. Okay. I answered and said, Will time therefore be given to the souls after they have been separated from their bodies to see what you have described to me? The Most High responds. He said to me, They shall have freedom for seven days so that during these seven days they may see the things of which you have been told. And afterwards, they should be gathered in their habitations. I answered and said, If I have found favor in thy sight, show further to me thy servant, whether on the day of judgment the righteous will be able to intercede for the ungodly, or to entreat the most high for them, which means, will the righteous be able to give a petition for the unrighteous? Remember y'all like the fallen angels asked Enoch to petition the most high after, you know, coming down here and dealing with women and giving, you know, mankind sorcery and teaching women how beautification the eyelids and and teaching them uh, uh, about uh, uh, the utilization of metals. Remember that record? Same thing right here, y'all. So he just is asking the most high, will we be able to intercede for our family members, people we loved? Watch this. On that day of judgment, the righteous will be able to incede for the ungodly or to entreat the most high for them. Fathers for sons or sons for parents, brothers for brothers, relatives for their kinsmen or friends for those who are most dear. The most high answered and said, since you have found favor in my sight, I will show you this also. The day of judgment is decisive. It's final, y'all. And displays to all the seal of truth. See? Just as now, a father does not send his son or a son his father. 
or a master his servant, or a friend his dearest friend, to be ill or sleep or eat or be healed in his stead. So no. No one shall ever pray for another on that day. Neither shall anyone lay a burden on another. For then every one shall bear his own righteousness or unrighteousness. So brothers and sisters, this is clear. This is clear. Uh, this, is, this is very clear. If you know this is all the time that you have in the here and now, y'all need to do what you need to do to get it right. Giving this message more so and delivering this message in truth is necessary. This is what a teacher does, a watchman, and a pastor does. Now, I don't have a theologian university, a, a, a theologian degree. I have a worldly college education, but I have been in this truth now for some time. And uh, I think the most high answer my calling to bless those with this knowledge. And uh, all my knowledge and education, everything that I acquired in the world was for you. And I think the most high he humbled me and took me through the wilderness and tribulation to bring me here. Um, brothers and sisters, continue to forgive your neighbors and to pray for those who despitefully use you and hate you, okay? Do good to them. For you brothers out there in this truth, it's clear. It ain't no way you're going to see an uh, uh, eternal life rejecting Christ or the most highest word. No. This Bible, the whole volume of the book, Old Testament and New Testament, applies, including the records of the Bible, which is what I'm going into now. For y'all out there who don't believe in our Lord and Savior and covered by the blood. See? If you reject Christ, it makes you anti-Christ. This is a warning for y'all out there. Y'all who are rejecting Christ, you, you could be forgiven and be received and repent. But understand, blaspheming the Holy Spirit will walk. Whew. All I can say is may the most high be with you. And for those who don't believe, this is your judgment. Hey, brothers and sisters, all glory and praise to the Most High. I want to thank y'all for being here for another um, another programming, once again, the 70, the redo. Um, love y'all. Keep, you know, keep working. Uh, stay persistent. Keep enduring. And uh, I'm going to be bringing y'all some more videos. I, I have so much to share. Uh, I think tomorrow <laughs> I might come online, guys, and go into... Uh, uh, I have a treat for y'all, okay? I'm going to give y'all a quick glim glimpse. I got a treat. Yeah. Septimius Service. The African Emperor of Rome. I think I might do that tomorrow, y'all. I don't know. I got to pray about it. We'll see. I got to kind of devise something up here. It's, it's exciting. Oh, yeah, by the way. I don't even want to show you this one here, but I'm going to do it anyway. Ah, Scipio Africanus. Okay, that's enough. Listen, all glory and praise to the Most High, guys. Thank you again. Shalom. Love y'all. Bless y'all. Peace. Stay up. Be safe out there.